<laughs> he can't escape now, Blade Man and Prado. <laughs> I'll find a way to get free. If I didn't, there'd be no TV show. Be sure to tune in next week for the exciting conclusion on Blade Man and Throttle! Roddy Jenkinstein here, and guess what? Got a revolutionary new idea! Junior, it's that scumbag Ronnie! What's he doing on TV? I don't know, Pa, I thought he was in jail. That's where he should be. Got a bunch of junk laying around your property and you don't know what to do with it? Bring it down to me, Ronnie. I'll take care of it for you. We found a way to utilize storage space for Super G. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the defining moment of my career, Shed Car. I use old cars on my lot to store your junk. Do you have something extra important you want to store? Say you got some priceless old basketball cards of your great grandfathers that you want to retire on, but keep in a safe spot for cheap. No problem. No problem. Shed cars offers an upgraded package to safely and securely store your prized possessions with our glove box package. Big, small, priceless or not, nothing's too big for a shed car. So give me a call today. Call today! Well, look at that, Junior. Maybe that Ronnie is running a legitimate business after all. I don't know, Pa. Something tells me probably not. Pterodactyl here, and today's how-to video is going to be on this here stilts trimmer. Got the spark tester hooked up. Look, no sparks. I checked the switch, the switch is good, it's the coil. So I'm going to show you how to replace the coil. A lot of people look at this and go, man, how the heck do you get that thing apart to change that coil? Well, it's pretty simple. And I'm going to show you how. All you gotta do is take out six screws. One, two, three, four, five, and the last one is tucked in down here. Let me get a little screwdriver. Right here, that's number six. Right in there. All right, let me take them out. There's the one. There's that one. Come on. Now hold on to this. Don't let it come apart in two pieces on you. All right. Now you're gonna have to support the bottom part of this. Make sure your coil wire's in the center there, and then this will just lift right off. Pretty simple, ain't it? Now, what I do next is, I get me a good strong clamp, and I clamp this to hold this in place, so none of this moves on me. Then disconnect the coil wire, pull these two off, and then take the coil off. Two screws. Now you gotta use this over this ground tab on the new coil. All right, coil's off. There's the new one. Now make sure you look up the coil for your trimmer. That's why I'm not going to show you the part number for this one because they're all different. So make sure you look up the specific coil for your specific model. Make sure you get the right one. So here's that tab, grounding tab. And here's the other screw.
stick it on there. Now we're going to use hand tools to put it back together. Now it's slotted, so I'm going to lift up on the coil to get my gap. I want a big gap in there. And just snug them up for now because we got to set our air gap. So find the magnets right here. And then we got to set the gap. 10 to 12 thousandths. It's not that critical because you know what? This isn't space shuttle. It's a, it's a weed trimmer. So I got my little handy dandy 12 and a half thousandths. You could use a business card even work if you don't have a feeler gauge. Loosen the screws and the magnet's going to suck it tight. See? Magnet's going to suck it tight against the, the feeler gauge or matchbook or whatever you're using that's about 10 to 12 thousandths. Snug it up. Take out your gauge. Hook up the wires. Look at this, it's pretty simple, ain't it? Make sure those wires get tucked back in those little grooves there too. Hook that up. Now, take off your clamp. Make sure you're holding it tight. And then slip this back on top. Make sure everything lines up. Nice. All right, now I'm gonna turn it. Put a couple of screws in. Put one over here and make sure everything is all lined up right. Oh yeah, that sucked it right back in. Put this one in. And let's see, we got one over here. One here. And then this one, because of the cable, never fell out. All right. That's pretty simple, wasn't it? Now let's fire it up. Pretty simple. And as always, woo, 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 there's your dinner. All right, great job, guys. So we're gonna go back to one of my shed RVs, and I got some expired lemon cakes waiting for you guys. Oh, yeah, I love lemon cakes. Oh, especially the stale ones. Those oh, are yeah. the best. Hey, are you them fellas starting that junk out there in my used cars? Uh, uh yeah. Well, what do you think you're doing? These are my shed cars, all right? I own the property in each and every one of these vehicles out here. This is my used car lot, and them are my used cars. And I better not see or catch you out here again, because it'll be your last. Look, I'm going to tell you this one time only. Them shed cars is mine. So, uh, what are you going to do about it, old man? What? I had to break your skinny little neck, you little cute. Doesn't look like it's gonna end well for Ronnie. Nope, never does. When's he gonna learn? I thought this was private property. You know which shed RV that was? Maybe we could still get those lemon cakes.